gorgeous welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new and if you are new it would mean so much if you guys hit that subscribe button to join my YouTube family and turn on the bell to be notified every single time I drop a video which is every Tuesday and Thursday and we are so so close to 1 million so it would mean a lot with hot weather comes frizzy hair that is definitely one of my hair struggles let me know if it is one of your hair struggles so I thought I would do another video around how to get rid of frizzy hair and get that shiny glossy hair look I blame every single hair commercial that just makes every woman's hair look amazing I'm gonna share with you guys all my tips and tricks products I use hacks I do let me know what type of hair you guys have do you have curly wavy straight thin thick let me know I will link anything I do talk about in the description box as well as my DIY life hacks playlist which has a ton more hair videos. I wouldn't mind if you guys did a little binge fest and checked out some of my other videos. But on that note, let's just jump right into the tips. Tip number one, which is the biggest tip, and that is to moisturize your hair. Remember, frizzy hair wants moisture. So if you're not giving your hair that hydration that it wants from moisturizing products and from proper hair care, your hair is going to get the moisture from somewhere else, like the humidity in the air, which you will notice a lot of the times if you are in a super hot area and it's it's humid out, your hair just puffs up and frizzes. You can strain your hair before when you're indoors, but the second you hit outside with that humidity, your hair is going to frizz. And that is because your hair needs to be moisturized. You need to keep up with it. You need to find products that are going to moisturize your hair. And I know for myself, I struggle with more dry hair, damaged hair from a lot of the heat tools I put on my hair. So I always like to find products that really target that. And if you find good products and do these little tips and tricks, your hair is gonna be a lot less dry and damaged. And that leads me to, of course, doing a hair mask at least once a week. I have been consistently doing this for the longest time now, and this has made the biggest difference to my overall hair health. And I'm gonna share with you two different hair masks that I do constantly. The first one just being using plain old castor oil. I did a whole video around castor oil beauty hacks. You guys probably know by now, castor oil is my beauty secret. This is something that I use for a ton of beauty issues. I will link any product I do talk about in the description box for you guys to go check out. You can use this on your hair, you can use it on your skin. So I will apply this literally all over my hair from the top to the bottom. And then I'll just put a shower cap on and let it sit for 45 minutes to an hour and sometimes I'll let it sit all day long. You can even go to sleep with this with the shower cap on to really let it soak overnight. But it really depends, I guess, how much time I have. And then I will go in and wash it out. Castor oil is just amazing because this is super moisturizing and it's great for dry, damaged hair. It also is really great at taming frizz. So if you struggle with frizzy hair, add this into your hair care routine and you're going to really notice a difference. Also, when you rinse it out and you style your hair, you're gonna see your hair so much shinier just by one use. And something also really great when it comes to castor oil in the hair it's actually really great for a dry itchy scalp so I've done so many videos around how to get rid of dandruff this also can soothe that itchy scalp and help with dandruff so overall it's just such a moisturizing product that's going to give your hair that hydration that it needs when you do go ahead and wash this out of your hair I would shampoo a couple times to make sure you get the oil out because if you don't get the oil out and you just style your hair and your hair dries your hair is just gonna look like a greasy mess. So because it is thicker, make sure that you are completely getting it out of your hair once you do shower. So this is something I like to do once a week, but if I don't go in with my castor oil, I go in with my Biolage Hydro Source Pack. This is the Aloe and Spirulina Extract Deep Treatment. So I actually have two of them. This one's literally almost empty, so I thought I'd share with you guys the brand new one. But this is an amazing store-bought hair treatment that you can use once a week. I totally recommend this. They have so many uh, versions of this. They have different ones, which I actually have, but this one in particular is really great for frizzy and dry hair because of the aloe and spirulina in it. Aloe and spirulina is known for strengthening the hair and giving your hair that glossy, shiny look. It is paraben-free, sulfate-free, and it's vegan. I apply it to the ends of my hair. I let it sit on for about like five minutes, and then I'll go ahead and rinse it off. This will make your hair 
are so soft, make it shiny, and just make it less frizzy as well. So like I said, I will alternate between the castor oil and then my Biolage hair treatment, and I'll use those once a week, so I'll go back and forth. The next tip I have is to massage your scalp with vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil is another really great oil to pick up. There are so many things you can do with that oil when it comes to beauty benefits, and one being for your hair. Vitamin E nourishes your hair and it hydrates your hair as well. It makes your hair shinier and also stronger over time when you do use vitamin E. So I'll just go ahead and apply it onto the scalp and really massage it into my scalp before I go ahead and I shampoo. So vitamin E can be a great pre-shampoo. Of course, when it comes to these oils and these treatments, you don't want to use all of them in one day. I alternate back and forth between all these little treatments and you want to make sure you only do one. But vitamin E is also another great oil to add into your regimen to really help with dry and frizzy hair. When you have dry hair, it causes frizziness, split ends, and just a lack of shininess. Your hair just looks really dull. So you want to find a shampoo and conditioner set that's really going to be gentle, but it's going to give your hair that hydration it needs. So that is why I love this shampoo and conditioner set, which I've mentioned a million times on my channel, but that's because I really do like it and I use it all the time. And that is the Matrix Biolage Ultra Hydra Source Shampoo and Conditioner. They are currently having a sale on the big bottles of these, which is so worth it because it is huge. I'm definitely gonna have to buy another one because this is about halfway done. So I totally recommend if you're gonna pick this up, pick it up now because they are currently having a sale. So I will link it down below for you guys. By the way, my video is not sponsored. I just realized that I pretty much have all my products from Matrix Biolage and I didn't even realize, but you guys know that I love that brand and my hair salon personally uses that brand. So that's what kind of got me started into their brand, but I am not sponsored. I wish because I literally love this brand and mentioned them so many times, but unfortunately not today. But this is great for very dry hair and it's going to help with frizziness. This is paraben free and something I also really like about it is it has aloe in it. And like I said, aloe is great for frizzy hair, for giving your hair that shine and giving it that moisture. So that is why this has been such a staple in my hair care routine. And it's something I use all the time because like I've said, my hair is super dry and dull and this really helps with that. And on top of it, it smells amazing. Your hair is always gonna have that nice smell once you step out of the shower. And that is always something I love about hair care products. What's also really great about the conditioner is it is an anti-frizz conditioner. Overall, if you deal with frizzy hair, you want to find a shampoo and conditioner set that is hydrating and that targets dry hair. And that leads me to my next tip, which is a little DIY, and that is to try an apple cider vinegar hair rinse. I mentioned this in so many other videos, but it's super easy to make. All you have to do is take a cup or two cups of water and add about one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. You're gonna mix it in and you're going to use this rinse after you shampoo your hair. Pour it all over your hair and massage your scalp as well. And what's really great about using apple cider vinegar is it's a clarifying rinse. Apple cider vinegar smooths the cuticles, which in turn makes your hair look a lot more shiny. And if you clarify your hair, it's really gonna get rid of product buildup. This is such a great natural remedy that's so easy to make. And it's just something I like to do once in a while into my hair care routine to really give my hair that good rinse and to cleanse my hair of any product buildup I may have. Now that we are talking about washing our hair and the products that we're using, it is time to actually rinse our hair out and finish off our shower. So so when you are in the shower, a tip I have is just to wash your hair and rinse your hair out with cool water and make sure that you're not using hot water. This helps your hair shaft lay flat so in turn your hair is going to be a lot less frizzier once you're out of the shower and your hair styles. And once you are out of the shower and you wash your hair completely, when you do wash your hair you want to blotch your hair with your towel and not rub it. If you can, it is better to go for a cotton t-shirt as opposed to a towel because a towel can be really rough on your hair but if you are going to dry your hair with your towel just blot your hair your hair is first off very fragile when it's wet and you're just going to cause friction and damage to your hair and in turn your hair is going to look a lot more frizzier and that leads me to the next tip which is to always use a leave-in conditioner and i love the biolage all-in-one coconut infusion 
multi benefit spray. This is also another one of my absolute favorite hair products. It smells amazing. There's coconut, so you know it's already gonna smell good. There's so many benefits to this one product. It's also really great for all hair textures. So this is a great product for if you have dry hair, if you have curly hair, if you have straight hair, thin hair, you name it. It's also really great once again for taming your frizz, giving your hair that glossiness, helping with split ends, helping with the overall shine of your hair. It's super lightweight as well. It also is an anti-static control, so it's going to help with, help tame flyaways. I just spritz this into my hair when my hair is still wet. Then I'll go ahead and just comb out my hair. This is also gonna help detangle your hair as well. So there's just so many amazing benefits to this one product. And this is something that I always need to add after the shower. The last tip I have for you is to finish with a shine serum. This is the Matrix Biolage Smoothing Serum. And I believe they have a new formula now. I'm just trying to finish this one before I go ahead and pick the other one. But this is amazing to add on your hair. I like to use this when my hair is like fully dried as the last step. This is gonna tame your frizzy hair. It's gonna tame your flyaways. It gives your hair that shine and glossy look. It makes your hair super smooth protects it against humidity and as well as heat styling and of course it is paraben free all the products I talked about is paraben free and it smells amazing it's such a nice consistency this is my last step when it comes to my hair care routine that I always need to add but those are all my tips and tricks on how to get rid of frizzy hair and also give your hair that nice glossy shiny look like I said I will link everything down below for you guys so I definitely recommend picking up some of these hair products they are my favorite hair products and I've mentioned them so many times in the past so you guys know that I love them. I will also link down below a cash back site so if you guys want to sign up whenever you're shopping online and get cash back I totally recommend it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. I do upload every single Tuesday and Thursday. Turn on the bell so you're notified every single time I do drop a video like this but I am hella sweaty right now. It is going down my back. It's a problem. My room is literally the hottest room in the house so I am so excited for once I finally get to move so I don't have to be sweating my back off every time I film. But on that note, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!